The Farmers Mart here in Ballymahan County, Longford, has been serving farmers for over 60 years. We pay them a visit in mid-April. I'm uh, William Jones. I'm the manager in the mart here in Ballymahan. I only live five miles out the road in a village called Kina. And uh, we have a farm of our own at home. Uh, we run sucklers and sheep. It's mainly pedigree Angus cows we have there. And um, we keep about 150 um, yews as well. On the morning time, the yards are open there from before eight onwards, quarter to eight. The yard man comes in and opens up, and he opens up the yard and up the office, and the cattle start coming in. The staff land between eight and half eight. On a normal day like yesterday or the week before, if we had two rings going, there could be ending up the 12 staff here, and myself and the yard man then as well. We'd be all in, up and down the yard and keeping an eye on things. And to be four to five in the office, then keeping things going there. And as I said, the cattle come in from any time after eight onwards. And the sale starts at 11. The sale starts at 11 uh, out in the other ring if that's going. This one starts at half 11 in ring one. And you know, it could go on till three or four o'clock in the afternoon and in the back end of the year when the sales are far bigger, it could carry on to five in the evening, you know. Meanwhile, in Daisy's kitchen, John and Bernie are preparing breakfast. And it's not just for the farmers. Uh, partners, wives, actually young children as well will come for food and everything like that. So it's more, more like a family affair. By 11 o'clock, the business of buying and selling gets underway. And farmers are keen to get a bargain. But that's not all that's happening today. Outside the ring, local Gardaí are advising farmers about how best to deal with rural crime. And in particular, how to reduce its impact. I'm here today in conjunction with the local IFA and regional executive uh, to promote crime prevention and crime prevention initiative or crime prevention advice within this community. It's a primarily a Garda initiative being supported by the IFA at local level. It's um, basically trying to talk to farmers to raise awareness in the rural and farming community of um, the threat of crime and preventive measures that a farmer can take and their families can take um, to avoid being a victim of crime and also to know the pathways then to make contact if something does happen. You know, there's a lot of fear and anxiety in the rural communities. We had some terrible um, attacks down in the west of Ireland in Sligo last year and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's real in the communities and it's something we're aware of and it's something we're trying to work with the Gardaí to um, just bring a little bit more, I suppose, shine light into that dark corner, if you like. But I think farmers are getting better at, at um, being aware of what measures they need to take. They just need to take those measures uh, and they need to do it every day, basically. So if there was one piece of advice Sergeant Barkley could give, what would it be? I think, you know, just to take that little bit of extra time to secure those uh, tools and pieces of property. I think that's essential in today's message. Despite the serious issue of money, there's also a bit of crack to be had. Oh, I do indeed. It's great old crack with them. You know, you get to hear all about them and you get to know every one of them individually as the days go on and weeks. Here Bernie talks about how recent changes have affected farmers in their day-to-day -day activities. I'd say, you know, it's a learning curve for everybody, even myself, and it's taken them a while to get used to all these changes. But where they have young people taking over their farms, uh, family members in their lives is helping them a great deal. And with them coming to the mart and talking to other farmers and other people that, you know, they're learning to cope with it. Patrick Farrell has been attending the Ballyman Mart for over 13 years. So why does he think that people will buy boots off him rather than go elsewhere? Just convenience, basically. I'm just here at the mart, just more or less handy for them to come out, to have a wee bit of spare time. Just try on a pair of boots, buy them or not buy them, or whatever suits themselves, you know, just on the day. And because of that, I decided to buy myself a pair of nice waterproof boots. And I'm delighted with them. The peak of the time in the back end of the year, like when the two rings would be going, like we could have ended up to 500 cattle and, uh, and then we'd say in the lull time, we'd say after Christmas and end of January into February, like, you know, it could be from 100 to 150. Yesterday, with the one ring going, we had, uh, what was there, 250 on it yesterday. But um, look, at in the back end of the air, it does be busy. And then on a Saturday, then we'd have a weaning sale then as well, for bulls and heifers and weanings and springers. And, um, you, could be ending up to 3 to 350 on a, on, a, on, a, on a Thursday as well. 
uh, or on a Saturday on my, uh, as well. And then on a Friday mornings, then we gather so calves there for, the, for export for the Wicklow Calf Company. Um, well, it come as a social gathering as well, and it's a little outlet for anybody, especially living on their own, or farmers that's retired, they can reconnect with the young people and uh, with friends and that they've made over the years through coming to the mart. Like a lot of farmers only come for the day out, they come for the social event, they come to go into the canteen to get a cup of tea, to get the dinners. Um, elderly men coming in, like it was a big, big blow to them when they couldn't do Thursday was the main day in Ballymahan when I was growing up years ago, down through the years. Like it was a big day in Ballymahan, come to the mart, you come in even if it was only to get the dinner, even to look at the cattle, not even to buy anything, but it was a big, big day and the COVID was a big damper on, on farmers that time and they'd know where to go and as I said, it was a big, big social event for them at that time. Um, Mart eye system come in back during the, the COVID and like uh, back in the COVID, like, there was nobody in around this ring at all, only the auctioneer and the clerk and the ring man letting in and out the cattle. Like, and at that time, there was only a few people who was allowed in around the yard at the time to view the cattle, take down their numbers and go home. Like five or six or seven men, people was always allowed around the, ring, around the yard at that time, viewing the cattle. And then they'd go home then and they'd take out their iPad or their phone and they'd click into Mart I there to Ballymahan or any other Mart. And you know, they could be at home there in their own comfort um, buying away at their cattle and come back in and pick them up in the evening time when they get to go ahead in the office that they have all their cattle received that they've bought. Very good. And that can still happen? Oh, but God, it can, yeah, yeah. And it is a serious system. Like, for fellas can be watching from all around Ireland, even now on holidays, anywhere at all they can be watching. The general age profile of farmers at the minute are getting a lot older. Like, you've seen it here when you were here yesterday. Like, I probably was the youngest person in the, in, in the mart yesterday. And that's normal. And that's not just in Ballymahan, it's, it's, it's in every mart. Like the, the age and profile of farmers is getting older. Like the help is scarce. We see it here even getting staff, even working in the mart, the, the help is scarce. To get young farmers or young lads to help us in the mart. And that's what's happening at home. It's happening in, in, in lots of farmers' homes. The, the help is not there and they're leasing their land, they're setting their land and it's, it's, it's a pity like because I'd say at the back of it they don't really want to do it. Adam is a young man who certainly has an interest in farming. I like the cattle and I like my calves that I have in my house. Oh right, so you have some calves and you look after them, do you? Oh, very good. So do you think you'll make this a career, do you think? Yeah. William can also remember when he was a young boy attending the mart. Oh, I did, I did, and, and worked up in the old sheepyard up there when I was maybe 10 or 12, and uh, so I went to school in Ballymahan too. I used to come down every Thursday, and even when the wind sails around, even in time I used to work down the yard with the lads too, and carried on from that. My grandfather was a shareholder in the mart, and he gave me his share in his passing, and uh, carried on from there then, I suppose. So maybe one day, like William, Adam will become the manager of the local mart.